Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for coming to my channel. And today I'm making a video on peppers again. Uh, I've been doing a lot of tests with these peppers lately. And uh, I found something really interesting and it's been working because I've done it a few times. And I thought I'd just share that um, and see what everyone thinks about this. So, um, when I, I started these seeds about a few months ago, the 7th, uh, July 2nd. And it, and what I did was, um, I use this soil, the organic soil. I use this every year, and I noticed that I always get the same result. The plants would, um, it would sprout, and then it'll stay dormant for like a long time. Like once it gets about an inch, an inch or something like that, it, it just stay, and it would not grow. And so I, I test around and do some different things and try different stuff. And I found that these work really, really well. So once the plants get about uh, an inch or an inch and a half, it stopped growing. And I think that's because there's no more nutrients left in the soil. So I just left it. And I did the same thing last year. I left it and it just, it just stays the same size and it just would not grow. And what I did was I pour in a few of these pebbles from the from these. Just drop about 15 to 20 in there. And it, it started to take off. So I thought that was weird. Um, so I tried it again this year and it worked again. <laughs> and then because I, I keep doing different tests with these so um, you notice that these were started at the same time and they were at one point the same size. What I did different uh, to this one was um, on top of having those pebbles there, I poured in hydroponic nutrients that I've, I've been using for all of my other hydroponic grow. And when, you, when I start these peppers, uh, if you watch my videos on how to do this, um, I've, I've done one last year on how to grow it in different three methods. So the two cup method with the hole there, and as you um, as the plants get bigger, it it grows more roots and it'll it'll come out of the hole because usually when I water it, it the excess water would pour pour down to here, and then the roots would just grow to to seek the water out. And on this one, I just used those uh, those um, fertilizer pebbles only. And on this size, I use the same amount of pebbles, but on top of that, I pour in hydroponic nutrients. So usually I pour it to around that line there. And the plants that get the hydroponic nutrients just outgrow the rest of them. I did this last year too and it worked. So I tried it again and it worked. And so. I'm going to do it um, for all of my other ones this year. So as you can see, this one is much larger than this one because of the hydroponic nutrients. Two weeks ago they were the same size and when I pour the nutrients in, these start to take off. But um, yeah, if you guys want to try that, um, I think that that's be a, that'd be a neat experiment to try out. Um, when you start them out, use some of these pebbles to give them some boost to grow. And then as they grow roots, and just like this, then use hydroponic nutrients. And that would boost the plant's growth like crazy. So now I'm going to do another one. There you go. So this one I'm going to grow... Um, one of the plants that I've been really really interested in I, I love this plant is the uh, MOA scotch bonnet I think these are like about I got this from pepperlover.com I think they might be $4 or something like that for a uh, ton of these I don't know how many there are in there so the method I um, I also made a video last year on how to start peppers in different methods the three method so I can link that to you and um, and uh, of those three methods, uh, I decided to just use this one because it's the easiest. 
and I like to do things easy so that's, we're just going to keep it simple so um, as I mentioned earlier you want two cups drill just poke a hole in here with, with a scissor or anything like that so the way I do that is you can uh, sort of like heat a, a screwdriver up and poke it right through but I don't have any tool like that so I just do like this poke like through and then just cut like that so you ha it doesn't have to be a perfect hole just about that size so that um, not too big because if it's too big the soil will fall through and then here's my soil I, I thoroughly soak these to get everything wet so what we're gonna do some some people when they start these out they soak the seeds first for eight hours or something like that but I usually don't do it and it, it, it still work you wanna do more than one seed just in case one of them don't grow so I think I'm just gonna pour two two seeds in, in that and let me get the seeds out real quick and when you select the seeds out of the bag make sure they're nice and yellow this, with no black spots and you know you can tell if it's a bad seed or not it's sort of like black so now just take um, if you're only gonna do one just pour it in the center so I'm just do one here just a nice small hole like half an inch or less deep that then I'm gonna just take the seeds and just throw it in there all right then let me get a spray bottle just give the seed a little spray of water Then close it up. All right. Now, uh, then next you want to use a ziplock. Just place it over. And there are two reasons why I did this. Uh, one the the main purpose for this is to uh, keep the seeds warm and another uh, reason I use this is sometimes when you use this uh, soil when you buy soil in the store they have uh, sort of like eggs of fungus gnats and so they'll, they'll hatch and just fly everywhere so if you have this on top it, it'll it'll keep them stuck in there and you just kill them but uh, the main purpose is to keep them nice and warm, just like a greenhouse. Um, but that's it. Oh, and forget, don't forget to label. <laughs> Today the 16. And then you keep this under your lights. Uh, the temperature, if the temperature is 75 to 85 degrees, that's ideal. And within two weeks, sometimes it's less than two weeks, these, uh, they will grow. The hotter the peppers, uh, the longer it takes. Like my butch tea last year took the longest to sprout. Um, but these are scotch bonnet, so they, they should take like a, two weeks or less. But um, I'm just going to do this for now. I'm going to, I have a few more selections that I will start uh, at the end of the sea. Uh, uh, soon, sorry. So I'll start that soon. But uh, I'll keep you guys updated.